Good afternoon, everyone. It's Roby One, Mobile Robo. I'm out here in North Grafton, Mass. And I'm at the cemetery with Jotham Taff. He's supposedly buried. I believe I maybe found his grave. But we're going to start with this one. And we're way on the top of the hill. Beautiful scenery over here. See, looking way down. There's another side over here, empty. Already Masonic value. First thing we see is Leviathan Leafs. Right there. F. Baldwin. I don't know this guy. I've heard the name. Look at this. That's pretty creepy. This is a square style with the curves in the corners on this oblique. The whole family here. Let's get the snake head value. A little snow on his head. Uh, on the Leviathan lease. I didn't expect to see this up here. And the track around a little in the snow, but whatever. And there was a woman, Esther Howland, that worked for uh, Jonathan Taft. And supposedly, they believe she was the first one, but Grafton is saying Jonathan Taft, the first one to make the Valentine and Valentine store that was in this town. Here's a smith. This one's got to be at least 18 feet easily. There's definitely Masonic value over here. These are nice. Say Emily. Oh, that's to his wife. It's got both their names. G.H. Smith. That's a pretty grave right there. You don't see something like that. It's got a little Kabbalah symbolism though in there. Leland, I've heard that name. We got Bartlett. Well, all the way over here in Grafton. It's a Webster name. Packard, Allen. See in the distance. This one down there. We're going to go over there in a second. With the shroudery cape on it. Oh, look at this. It's nice up here. This one has a mound too. The teasing entrance to the underground. I figured I'd start the first season of the Graveyard Tales over here. This one's maybe been refurbished. Knowles. Ooh, a little Kabbalah symbolism there. And the cuts. The wreath. I'm sure that means something too. That's an octoid style oblique or obelisk whatever floats your boat me I'm far too adventurous to be contentious I like come out see new things I've never seen Hathaway wow George my plumber rest his soul he was a Hathaway and he believes that was his slave name I've seen a few Hathaways Charlton too all right, so let's get over here. Shepherd clap. This is one of those shroudery ones. And when it, at night, they look like a, a bird because of the shadowing. This is facing the other way too. Johnston, interesting. See, they try to do it over with the the, the smooth and it gets that LJ on it. Something I'm gonna keep specifying. Warren Bigelow. Is this him? Here's a taft. Emory Taft. Nope, it's not Jotham. Ellen Taft. It's in that time zone. Memory, this could be his father. I gotta be close to his grave. This might be harder to find than I think. I'm going down to Tia. 
that's over here. See the stuff on the hill we're missing because of the snow. I'm not gonna go digging through the snow, but let's take a peep. There's nothing on that one. We might have to do this in a few videos to find it. They don't show a picture online. And I just want to, you know, because he made the uh, Valentine, and I just, it's my guess that he was a mason. Let's see if I can climb up to this one. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's really hard. Samuel. Okay, what's this? Teresa Chambers. Hmm. It's odd. I wonder where this Taff guy is. I'm gonna have to talk to a local to find this out. Let's see. That one has a busted uh, yarn off of that. The liver. Hmm. You figure if he was up here, they'd have a special grave for him, maybe? Could be wrong. Mitchell. Easton. That's not it. I don't think they'd tuck him in the side like that either. He's got to have an oblique. Unless, unless he's under the snow over there. Maori is a Pratt with a secret handshake. Look at that. Interesting. And the wreath. Hmm. Let's go over here a little. It's an old booty gun with the snow. Chase. Ripley. Can't wait to come over here in the summer. I got a list of at least 10 or more that I'm doing this season. I started this in the winter, so I'm gonna continue with McGowan. Hmm. Now the task's there, but it's just that. What are these two right there? Let's take it. Oh. Nope. All right, so let's at least go down to the mound. Uh, this John Little, little John Campbell. <clears throat> okay, now this is a really nice one. The teasing entrance to the underground with the keystone above the door, like Solomon's Temple. Clock. Wow, this guy was important. Looks like you can see it in there too. Hmm. Seems well built. No one. A little crypt mound. The teasing entrance to the underworld. I wonder what that one is in the distance. I think if it is, how long will my phone hold out in this cold? I'm not cold, but the phones can't handle it. Then the Freemason in Valley on Sawyer, Valcon. Hmm, where is this guy buried? Take one more gander up here. There's some locals, I'm gonna go over there and talk to them. Martin. 
and there's another one of those crypt things over there too. And another shroud or urn. Hmm. Let's see who it is. Brom. Can't even make that out. That's got that Mayan Mesoamerican pottery look going on. And sacrificial yarns. <laughs> Ready. That's weird. <laughs> Bonnie. Man, it's gonna take longer than I thought. Some Freemasons in order of Eastern Star. Look at this. Matthew Morning. Interesting. The Morning Star. Who was that guy? Hmm. Sanders, getting back to the road over here. Caught a wrap for this episode. Sometimes you don't find what you want to find. It's okay. They'll be around too on this. At least I came over here and seen it. Maybe I can get a hold of these people over there. One last gander. Until the next one. Have a nice day. Later.